Howdy folks, welcome to 20th Century Adventures Artifact of the Week. This week's artifact is really interesting. It uh, tells you a lot about Model T's and the time period, how things were changing. So the Model T came out in 1909. At the, that point it had a crank start. So it's got a handle in front, right here, and you use that handle to crank the engine over. That's how it was started. It wasn't until 1919, so 10 years later, that they finally put an electric start uh, on these cars. So at that point they got a starter motor on the side of the engine that would turn it over and crank it over. Um, and then some cars that wasn't even an option. Uh, that was only in the closed cars in, in 1919. So Model T's took some effort to start and uh, they were kind of the butt of all jokes for that reason because the electric start had already existed for a long time before then. Um, so people found other ways around uh, making the start easier and this accessory is one of them. And I bet if you're into these old cars you probably haven't seen one of these. Uh, so this is an accessory that allows you to use a pull rope on your Model T to start it. Now I've always said that these engines are really simple and they're like four uh, Briggs and Stratton lawnmower engines put together. And that's that's basically what they are. It's a 20 horsepower engine, uh, it's five horsepower per cylinder. I mean it's really simple. Uh, but nothing tells me how similar they are to lawnmower engines than having this accessory uh, which eventually I'd like to put on one of my cars. So this has the same teeth on the cog as the end of a Model T crank. Uh, this shaft is the same size. This all disassembles and fits in. You take the old crank out, the crank handle out, and you put this device in in its place and, and pin it. And then the rope's long gone from this. I can probably make another one but there'd be a rope tied off here that goes through this channel all the way around up to here and it looks like there may be a bolt or something that's missing here probably to keep the uh, the rope from falling out of the channel most likely um, so you would position this lock the teeth in and then you'd grab the handle on that rope and pull and when you pull it's going to turn and turn the engine until the engine fires at which point it pulls itself off of those cogs just like it does with the hand crank. So I don't know who made this. Uh, there is no maker's mark on it at all. It's just a cool piece that I happened upon and uh, my plan is to get it restored, um, get it functioning again, and see if it really works because uh, some of these accessories weren't as good <laughs> as they thought they were or they claimed they were. Uh, some of them were just uh, meant to get your money. And this may be one of those. We'll find out. Um, but I've got some straightening to do. I've got a little bit of work here and there to do on it before, uh, before it's fully functional again. And of course we'll have to make a rope and a handle for it. Uh, but I really can't wait to try this out and see uh, how well it actually works on, on an original car. So there it is. Model T Pull Start. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments. If you've got comments about this, please post them. We'd love to hear those. And uh, share this video with other people that might like it because we really love to get the responses and see people watching our videos. Thanks a lot. We'll see you down the road.